All right, let's find the common difference of ratio. Once again, the left side, the domain side, they're all going up by ones, which makes it nice, which will be true in all your test problems. But what's this one doing? It went up, no, it went down eight, and then it went down two, and then it went up 10, up 28, up 80. Woo, those are big numbers. I mean, up 52 to make 80. They're not the same, so I know it's not linear because it didn't make the first line group. Now I'm going to subtract these. That's the difference of 6, of 12, of 18, of 24. Notice they're not the same, so therefore I know it's not quadratic. And if I subtract these one more time, they're all 6, so therefore it is cubic. And the common difference is 6. The common difference is 6, and it is a cubic one. So here's another one, common difference, no sides one. And what I'm going to do is I'm always going to subtract to find the difference on each of those. Now here's what I noticed. It's not, the first set numbers are not all the same, so that tells me it's not linear. And then I'm going to subtract these numbers. The difference between 5 and 7 is a 2, 7 and 9. Notice they're all 2's this time. When I subtract these numbers here, 5 went up 2 to get to 7, up 2 to get to 9. So therefore it means it's a quadratic function. It is quadratic because it was able to do, go to each one of those, all right? The, oh, the common difference is a two. The common difference is a two. And on this one here, notice the left side did not go up by ones. I have a three from negative eight to negative five went up three, it went up five, it went up two, it went up four. They're all going up though. And here, this one went up nine, up from negative 10 to five is 15. 5 to 11 is 6, 11 to 23 is 12, 4 to 29 is 6. And what I'm going to do is this here, I have to then take the 9 over the 3. That's why I have these both colored in red, which is 3. I take the 15 over the 5, because that was the number that corresponds with it. That's a 3. Hey, what are you noticing about all of these? The answer is 3 when you divide them. So that makes this one a linear, linear function with the common difference a 3. Now, your test will have all these numbers will be a 1, so you don't have to worry about this year, but I did want to show that that is a possibility that could happen on these. Those are all your common differences. First time is linear, second time is quadratic, and the third time is cubic.